to show you two great features in um, InDesign that will be very useful for text formatting, specifically when you're doing like um, schedules of any sort, meaning like poster schedules for sporting events or concerts, um, a great way to line up columns and things like that. So um, this is a sample I'm at the BHS website, going to copy over the football schedule. And so this looks like an Excel document that someone just pasted in here or is having visible on the web page. A lot of these can be modified when you bring it over to InDesign. So I'm just going to copy the text. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to go over to InDesign here. And I'll paste it in just to a regular text box and do some formatting to this text. Paste it in. Here's what it pastes in as. And if you look, I have all these little blue characters showing up. Those are called hidden characters. And you can show those under your type menu. So this will give me a good idea of what all these spaces in between are going to be. These double arrows are actually tab icons. And that's perfect. That's what we want because now we can go and set our tab and depth all we want. Before I do that, I want to clean it up a bit. So. I want to get rid of some stuff, like all this stuff at the end. I don't need that really. I'm going to make some changes to it. So I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to use something called find and replace. Find change, they've changed the name to now, I guess. So I'm looking for a tab with a dash and I'm going to change it to nothing so that it's going to get rid of all of those in my entire document. So if I look through all of these, now it's going to find all of the tab dashes and remove them and change it to nothing. I change all. It says there's 13 of them. Boom, all those are cleaned up now. I also, it's pretty obvious that the year is 2015, so I don't want it to say dash 2015 anymore. So I'm going to put dash 215. Change all those for the document. Cool. That's looking much better. And... Now I have the contents roughly how I want them to look. Um, let's say I want my text to kind of fill in this entire area. This is going to be a schedule, but on top I'm going to have my picture and things like that on the top of the page. So when I do that, I want to you know, size my font so that it looks good. I'm going to just, first of all, just increase the font size a little bit. And as I do that, you'll notice my tabs aren't really lined up how I want them to line up. So I'm going to make some modifications to that so that they line up a little bit better. And you can do that with the tabs icon here. This window, actually, it'll pull up. So under type, there's a tabs window. And it defaults all of your tabs. A lot of you in the past have probably done this where you put multiple tabs and try to line up everything so that they all match up nicely. That's technically not the best way to do it. The best way to do it is to make your own tabs. So this ruler represents my page. And these are all different types of tabs. We have left aligned, center aligned, right aligned. And you can put those tabs exactly where you want them to show up. So I can click and move this tab. And as I make new ones, my alignment adjusts. Over here on the right-hand side, maybe I'm going to do a right-handed tab or a left-handed tab, whatever looks best. and all that stuff will line up for you. Now you may run into issues where you don't have everything fitting exactly how you want it to fit and you have some problems because all your stuff isn't necessarily going where you want it to. If, if that's the case you may need a smaller font size which it looks like I'm going to need here or I need to modify some of my setup here. So now things are fitting a little bit better you can maybe um, shorten some of this stuff if you need to. And I can move these tabs. If you can delete them by dragging them off, but you can also move them by just dragging them and putting them where you want them to go. And you can change the alignment of them. If you want all the time tabs to be centered, you can center it. If you want all the home tabs to be centered, you can center it.
So it's a great way to have alignment and um, make everything look lined up and nice without having to mess with each line individually. So that's tabs and find change.